Welcome to Demystifying Math. In this lesson, we're going to be discussing systems of conics. Let's start with a system of equations. We have x squared plus y squared equals 16, and x squared plus 9y squared equals 36. Looking at the first equation, we have a circle that's centered at the origin with a radius length of 4. The second one is an ellipse, and we're going to rewrite it in conic form so we can graph it. So let's first divide everything by 36. So we get x squared over 36 plus 9y squared over 36 equals 1. Then all I did was simplify the fraction. So 9 over 36 becomes 1 4. So we have x squared over 36 plus y squared over 4 equals 1. This is an ellipse that's centered at the origin. The 36 is the a squared value, so a is 6, which means that we have a horizontal major axis, and that horizontal major axis has a length of 12. And we also have a minor axis of length 4. So what we want to do is graph the two conics. So first the circle is centered at the origin, has a radius of 4. So if you start at the center, and you can count left, right, up, and down 4, and you'll be able to graph your circle. For the conic, the ellipse, the center's at the origin. We have a major axis of length 12, which means that we're going to go left and right 6. So we have points at 6, 0, and negative 6, 0. And then we have a vertical major axis, minor axis rather, of 4. So we're going up 2 and down 2. So we have points at 0, 2, and 0, negative 2. Next, what we're going to do is find where these two graphs intersect. So we're going to solve the system of equations by isolating y squared in the first equation. So using the circle equation, we just brought the x squared over to the other side. Now, in the second equation, we had a y squared. So we're going to replace that with 16 minus x squared. Then we're just going to solve for x. So we're going to distribute the 9 and combine like terms. So we get negative 8x squared equals negative 108. So isolating x squared, we get 108 over 8 or 27 over 2. And then taking the square root, we're going to have a, two solutions, one positive and one negative. And I just rationalize the denominator. So we have plus or minus 3 squared to 6 over 2 are two solutions for x. Now what we're going to do is plug those values in and figure out what our y value is. So I'm going to plug them back into the easier equation, which is the circle equation, but you could also plug it into the ellipse equation. So I plugged in 27 over 2 square rooted um, for x, so that squared is going to give us 27 over 2, and then just isolate y. So I brought the 27 over 2 to the other side. Then I found a common denominator, so I have 32 over 2 minus the 27 over 2, which gives me 5 halves. Now remember that's y squared, so we have to square root it, and I rationalize the denominator again. And when we square root it, we get two more solutions, two solutions for y, two solutions for x, which gives us the four points where the circle and the ellipse intersect. So in simplified form, we have 3 squared is 6 over 2, and square root of 10 over 2, and then you have the positives and negatives um, that you can put in. So you get the four different solutions in the four different quadrants. Now, let's suppose that this was a system of inequalities, where we had x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 16, and the ellipse is greater than or equal to 36. All you have to do from there to graph the system of inequalities is to take a point and test it. So the easiest point to test is the origin, as long as the origin is not on the um, boundary curve at all. So we're going to test 0, 0 into the circle first. So 0 is less than or equal to 16 is a true statement, so that would indicate that we would be shading inside the circle. And we're going to test the same point in the ellipse. 
and when we do we get a false statement which indicates that we need to shade outside the ellipse so in this system we want to have both be true so we want to shade inside the circle but outside the ellipse so that would be your shaded region for this particular example okay thank you for watching demystifying math